to be that seaside anchor on this cypher. He's been doing it for a very long time, and he's very effective at it as he waits for these players to come on in. Here comes the play, and I was going to say, Pure was tagged down low in that initial pot shot for the ultimate ult down main. So there will be an opportunity for an even trade to come through, but Sentinels have reinforced the backside of the seaside. On comes Zop. He finds two, no problem. Even going to find a third through the outside of the Radiantite crate, and Zeki curveball to get away in the hot hands to self-sustain, which allows BCJ with the spike to actually get onto the seaside. Again, Dapper is the word, first defender that is here. Thick has rotated, also to try to help out Dapper in the mix, though, was able to find one, get the Cyber Cage in play to stay alive after the initial exchange. Shazam working his way into sight will make sure they find a second, and once mm -hmm. more, X set completely stuffed from their initial play, and now tens in the back. Oh, not like this. Judge comes around the corner for two more. Oh. And now Dap has to wonder what exactly do you do from here? Uh, get into the fetal position left. and kiss your butt goodbye, I guess. I, I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. He, he does not have spike possession. He does not have time. There's really not a whole lot of hope for him in this one. And, and that just boils down to when the, this map is so large and you're an attacking team and you have no presence on one side of the map in your first attack. From Exit, who are pushing very aggressively through Garage, but Nebula will make sure the play can still stay alive. Once more, on the Dapper. Trapwire able to find one elimination for Farisic also to mix with Zombs, but it will be okay. a pinstripe kill feed for a time until Exit with the pistols will actually turn things around, win this site, and also beyond that, collect some weapons to play with. Yeah, they're doing great. They keep the Spectres in play. Now they've picked up a couple of Phantoms as well. They've got full control of the site. They have a three on two. The only person with low health is Pure, who has been darted and is now being run down. Aaron, though, saves him from long C. Putting Shazam in a very tough club situation here. He is kind of boxing as well. Doesn't really have an escape route. He was committed. It's a bit of a read, but we see that Exeter looking to use those Seekers to get into this B site. Pure being the tip of the spear. Smokes are up. But Gravels are countering to slow XF out a little bit, but they're still finding entries. But again, it's all time for Dapper to rotate. That's dangerous news because he has an Earl that finds a second elimination. He's going to spam through the Nebula for a third. Also knows, of course, that the fourth is nearby. Small juggle of the weapons, but Tens will beat Dapper. To uh -oh. Does want to go through on the more standard X set timing, but uh oh, is right because Tens the top. But oh, he actually swapped over to the pistol for a second, and that gets him a little bit caught off. Or does it? Finds two. A little bit of damage into Zekin, but the exchange will be even. And with that, X set will be able to get the plant off, no problem. Trailblazer sent through the low side as well here from second, already picking up on. That retake point. Aaron under heaven. Owl drone's gonna spot Dapper and dart him and force him back. Otherwise, he would get spammed or shock guarded. So they're really slowing down the progression of this retake and setting up their chances to win very high. Cosmic Divide, though, comes through. Sentinel's looking to bridge their retake. And Aaron's gonna be tagged by Spy Game. He's gonna be out of the play for a time, but the hot hands. We'll actually try to clear One some players away from this remaining. early corner, but it doesn't actually give as much clearance as I think Sentinels were initially expecting. It is just now down to the Dapper. 1v2 knows that Aaron is below. Ooh, gets on top of the boxes, finds the first kill. Does he know where the second is? Sees him, but just a touch too late. The exit look to put some pressure on Long C, but there is an op now in play. Uh, Tense. Love this as well. Early tag, BCJ going in towards the Hunter's Fury, finds the kill in the Dapper, but Sentinels still have members on the site, lots of smoke and cyber cages, providing some distraction, which Sick takes advantage of for two. The Blaze Wall was there to try to keep him safe, but Def finds some favor spamming through it, but the hit is still on, and Zom is actually still technically on this site, but well, the shock darts Ooh. are so well played from BCJ, secures the kill, and with that, maybe even around 3v2 they go. Yeah, very good back and forth there. Exit obviously wanting to capitalize. See that death is getting into a spot where it might get a little bit dangerous, and indeed you will not be able to hold on to it. Passed over to Pure from the side of Exit. You mentioned it earlier. This little cyber cage much more successful. Now with Sick finds two with the Marshal. Unbelievable. Death only able to find one. And all of a sudden, Sentinels have actually brought this round to salvageable position. 3v3 situation. Shazam in the corner for one. Will eventually be traded by Pure, but this is a 2v2 where BCJ's down to critical health already. Yeah, it was the Sentinels going for the kind of the gamble stack towards A because they were on low weapons. They just guessed right. Exit were looking to press it. Somehow Sick pops off two Marshall kills. There's a bit of a bait and switch play as well as they had Shazam tucked in the corner for a kill as well. But BCJ breaks it back open here with that frag. That might save. Oh, this will be made very difficult for Zombs because obviously no information on where exactly these players are and it's taken just a little bit too long to read that this is a post plant set up deep. BCJ, you have to figure that the shock darts are going to be on their way. Here comes at least the recon dart to start. And there's the double peak happening. That's really, again, allowed Sentinels to get that early rotation to really help Dapper out in the C site. He's doing a great job stalling. 
Cybercades will keep him safe after being flashed. Trapwire also coming to play with the Trailblazer connects on to Zoms, who actually now is the only Sentinels player to stay alive through the initial hit. Gravity Well going to be able to come through, stopping any defensive rotations. Aaron watching the lurking play. Going to find one for free. Also the run it back has been denied, but Tens is able to make sure that Six stays safe when he teleports back. The problem is it is still a 2v3 favoring XS post plant. Tens on the way through quickly, denied by Def, and it's just down to Sick, and inside this Nebula can do absolutely more to send the dash away, but watch the flank from behind. There are two members from Sentinel trying to work behind this, but there are trap wires to keep them safe. Xset still, though, need to go, and they have found a way to get onto the safe site. Indeed it has. Pure getting big entries and they know all about this flank. I now they already exactly have the five on three. They can expend the extra personnel to keep tabs on that. Neural Theft does come in. That will be a bit of an aid except We'll go ahead and just finish the play with Pure. Going to get really aggressive onto Sick. Able to find him, and the hot hands just came out too late. It was also a little bit too long. Dapper, though, playing for the backside of the C garage window. Nearly a chance to blow up the play from behind, but cannot confirm any kills. And with that, the spike has made its way on, and BCG will plant. Yeah, indeed. The plant going down. So it's looking to strike pretty early here, though. And Dapper able to make some headway. BCA quick to hold them off, though, and try to keep things even. But they're so low on health in some of their players, particularly Zek. And there is definitely a real shot here still for Sentinels. Especially yeah, with this flank from Tins. And regrowth for BCJ gets him back to full HP, though. So it's just Zekin who's low on health. But the big problem, like you mentioned, is Tens from this position in the back. Recon Dart will allow him to move pretty quickly through Z-Long. Able to find one for free, but gets caught with the Cloudburst. Not going to find anything beyond that. Shazam trying to follow up. Not able to either. Just down to Zom. Best Sim just barely. 13 HP on Tens, but still 5v4. Zekin looking to get quickly over towards Z. And Sick just pushes through the Cloudburst. Don't think that Xed expected that really whatsoever. But Zekin trying to hold on to the site will find one. Gets denied for anything beyond that. And, oh, that's tough for BCJ. Thinks he has a timing to get through the middle, but never expected tens to be lurking behind. And set packing side, they're usually able to get at least seven rounds. So, again, they're still going to feel pretty good about things, but they are having some trouble here on this site right now. They're getting shut down by the low firepower, but tens finally breaks it back open. The hero they needed comes through, saves the day, and now they should be able to take this. But that was scary for a second there, Shift. It was uh, a little bit too close for comfort to be oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually the power will reign supreme. And so second 1v3. And it's two rifles with the specter of Zoms to get through. It would take three incredible shots from the Sheriff. And uh, Zekin just going to look for a late timing seat. Maybe you can find an exit on someone leaving the site a bit late. Yeah, that's about all he can really hope to do in this moment. That will put Sentinels to six, two away from tying things up. As that is trying to go hunting here a little bit. Broken by a teammate, just kind of coming here and look to make moves. He's going to go ahead and plant it. Just going to play a retake from behind. But you see BCJ step through the smoke. Good for one, but Dapper is very quick to trade, which is exactly what Sentinels want. They want to stay even man and just get into safe post plant. And look Aww. at Tan just going off with the daggers. And he completely clears off the C side of the map as well. So now Def is essentially by himself completely isolated. No chance for Aaron really to help out from this position. It's just down to, I think, at this point, can you maybe find a couple isolated kills somewhere? But this is going to have to be down just to securely timing. Everyone seems to know that Def is on the left side. Find a first kill, because retakes uh -oh. are going to be extremely hard, and he does find the weapon of Shazam, then eventually the body. Zek trying to move quickly. Pure trying to respond to this with a quick scope. Not going to be able to, as Zekin will still hold the corner. Flashes are still making their way on the site, but Sentinels are not really strong behind this. Pure is able to find a second. Zekin in the corner. No one's seen him. He doubles up, and Pure will find the third huge hold also here shock darts will come through but tens will stick for the plan able to get that off successfully and also exit or can he bcj able to find the instant elimination but sentinels again setting up their host plant over to the back side of window nebula could be there to give them a chance to go for an early bit of diffuse they also read sick playing in the tight corner here still with the operator up top able to take down dapper peeking long flash will come through cloudburst trying to keep this safe but the diffuse will not be stuck shazam has used both of his shock darts though now it's just down to can Sentinels actually fight this back 3v4. Shazam finds elimination, trying to tie things up, but Xset, they continue to push on forward. Shazam getting get tested by Pure. Able to find one elimination, but just stuck down to the classic. Look at this trail, yeah. getting so much intel on the A side of the map. It allows Zekin to rotate, and again, it's going to be able to reinforce this B yeah. side again. Sentinels just all about this B site. I'm just attacking half. Sick considering the plant. Leaves it and uh oh, what happened right there? They toggled the spike between two players. Death walks in for one. BCJ finds the second. Dad were trying to collect the spike denied. Should be able to get some type of post plant control as X set will just absolutely.
crushed them here. Barely even lost health on any of their players in this round. They're going to go up to 11, no problem. And again, that just seemed like a really uninspired attack for Sentinels wow. from what I'm used to seeing from their attacking side of Haven as well. And Shazam's just going to have to hope that this Hunter's Fury can pave away. Clear some space for Tens to get onto site, but he gets completely trapped out by the Cypher utility. Death still on the site as well. BCJ throwing some darts oh from beyond, my. and oh my is right. Shazam does find a shock dart from the grave. Sentinels just down to sick, and again, they... I won't say force into this. They were oh able to my. full afford into this round, but they lose this one. This map could be F. Oh, no. Timing could be incredible or terrible. Not like this. There will still be a follow-up. BCJ caught in a weird position, though. Has to fight off with at least one more player and will be able to do so. Sick moving quickly. Doesn't expect Aaron to be there. Backs away. Able to keep their life and Dapper finds two. Huge. That's Absolutely massive. Right there. It was very much a back and forth until those two kills from Dapper. It could really have gone either way. It's sick able to escape and heal thanks to Dapper. And now they have main advantage. They have the Seaside under control. They're bringing Spike in. Zekin trying to see if he can find a timing maybe through this smoke with Pure, but Zon's at such a great angle here to double stack. Gravity wall comes through, and that will be enough. Sick off the plus. Not only stay alive, They've got some weapons now to start working with to potentially talk about the word die about that. That could be a huge stink in the grass for Xset to disrupt this attack. It's a three-man stack here for Xset. Yes. They've seen the operator, and they've seen a rifle. They're not going to expect a third, and they still... Pretty spread out. They're going to have to try to go for the C school with Tenzin's stack and hope he can just make a play. Sees where BCJ is. Able to sidestep just a touch. BCJ trying to hold their life. Knows that imminent threats are all over the place. Shock Dart comes through. Averant on towards the site. Able to find 10 for the Nebula. BCJ does get traded. Spike, though. Not going to be fully committed. If you're walking back out of the site, find one with the operator. Gets the second. And Dapper nowhere to go. But again, they're down a man and they're getting slowed down a little bit here. That's a defensive wall that gets placed as well, trying to deny any kind of plant through that Viper wall. Tens up top, able to take Pure down to critical health, but will eventually get wall banged out. Paint shells came through before he fell, but cannot confirm any kills off the backside. BCJ finds Zom's at range. Snipe fight was considered for Aerin, but instead x are just, again, just biding their time and happy to take this battle. And you're seeing exactly why they've turned this from a 4v5 into a 4v3, make it a 4v2. Trades are good, and it's all down to Dapper for the 1v3. And he will be stuck. Wow. Bottom containers and exit fine. Sentinel's showing some aggression. Shazam able to find one headshot to tap. BCJ early Hunter's Fury comes out. Not going to find anything. And Sentinels will confirm first blood by the way of 10's Vandal. Yeah, again, just getting that forward presence on A side. This time it actually nets them a frag and they're able to fade back with it here. Now they're collecting Body everything. They got a great read on the attack. They already had the proper rotations in place. And now they're up two players. They are stuffing this attack with precision. Looks like they are on their way to a victory unless Exit can pull out a miracle. This was their bonus. They don't have the big rifles, just a couple of Spectres and the Bulldog. And I, f I feel like they got caught early. Shift was the problem yeah. there. I mean, it, it was such a quick read for Sentinels to know it was going to be a five-man A commit. They were able to make a good rotation Standing and get some ahead. big frags. BCJ, though, may be opening a way back to at least get a spike play on this A side. They stalled out enough to instill some doubt. It gives them an empty A side for a plant. Yeah, the later Toxic screen coming down will allow them a chance to create some separation, and now it's down to the post plant. But Sick wants to challenge this early, finds one. Second, over the corner, sees that there's a second player nearby, now to the Spectre, and he reads where all four players are now for Sentinels. BCJ confirms one of the eliminations, but this would have to be an ace, and oh, the snake fight is going to push him out into the angle for <laughs> over the top. Here, going to read some information that there is somebody sitting in the top mid. That's Dapper who's trying to contest, and... We'll at least catch some information. Sick on the cross, right through the grid of the backside of the site. Able to find one wall banging onto Zombs, but again, the trades are good. So once more, Exet allowed to plant, and it's going to be down to what can you find from behind here if you're Shazam, because he might be the only Sentinels player that has not been revealed as of Last yet. Will give away his position as he finds BCJ, and it's just down to Aaron. Timing of the sneak through the wall is going to be everything, and unfortunately gets in this area. Recon Bolt goes out in middle from Dapper, doesn't get a read. And so now they're a bit spread thin. They don't really know if this is a mid push under two, whether this is an ape attack. They really don't have any information. They have to just kind of wait it out and hope that Shazam can maybe get a pick and get a read. But actually, it's Dapper able to get a pick out in middle somehow. And a res. Oh, this is all looking really dangerous. But BCJ, he earned the Hunter's Fury off of the ultimate orb. Dapper sneaking his way to the rafters, able to find second. 
So numbers still good for Sentinels after the resurrection comes through, but BCJ and Aaron do have the ability to try to clutch this 2v4, knowing that they've got a Viper's Pit for the post plant. Will Dapper even allow them to get this spike off? Here comes the Eld or not, pardon me, the Boombot first and foremost, and then Sick. Also have all of the help from Dapper as well, including a potential Hunter's Fury if they want it. Death is looking to plant, but Zom spamming through his own utility finds elimination, and that will mean there will be numbers once more for Sentinels defensively. Yeah, we'll see what they're up against Inferior Firepower, and they're getting the job done, stalling out the speed attack. They already had the rotation in as well. Here's Tense, has mid covered. So that if there's any type of fallback, they'll know about it. So it seems like Sentinels are going to be able to kind of force Exit just kind of commit, but they're getting red out here by that Recon Bolt. Tense able to pick up on Pure, just adding to the man count now for Sentinels. They're just stuck. They cannot get this Spike down. Not a lot of motion that could happen here. Oh, seconds. Players. Those respect mid and force them to have to come and help Zombs out a little bit on B. And now they'll come in with the showstopper. Def also finds an entry. They're starting to gain some space now for a plant. And they put the Viper's Pit down, but they're still under a man. And now yeah, two. the kills are so good for Sentinels. They can challenge this and just surround the Viper's Pit. And then all go in at once if they want to. Def even just gets spammed through. Hey. The wall itself, Aaron over the corner, not going to expect Sick to be that close, and an expense. Actually got into a pretty forward spot. He could maybe contest an initial defender here yeah. on the corner, which would be Zomzen. Think... Always going to get caught in the middle of the Viper's pit play. Now Sick, trying to find the response to the final elimination, but the play still stays alive. And well, here it will have at least enough space to try to get a plant down, but the wall going up will actually push him off for just a moment. And then right back to action. Shazam will at least get some information, but... This will be a post plant 3v4. Yeah, they know exactly where the positioning is of Exit for the most part here. Shazam already finding Pure out. Zekin in a lot of trouble. Showstopper comes in from 10th as well to gain even more free ground. And now it's all on Def, who was the long con under tube. He gets his one, but I mean, that's all he's Sick will be able to defuse, no problem. I could see what, what was going on there from Exit. Zekin also throwing the page shells, and no one has been able to see any information. On where Tens is positioned, that will state the case as Shazam finds another impressive first blood. Down low, Tens able to find one. Now immediately up to the second and the third for Tens. Zapper the late rotator. Early Shazam missing on the knives, at least a couple of them. And he does actually back away somehow, some way. Six still solo defensively over the top. Tens there now trying to assist as they collect for one. But Xset have some good control of the site, but actually not going to be able to get the spike down. The yeah. bomb is actually down to a really pretty awful spot. Tense is doing such a great job behind Tom. He's gotten a couple of really big kills. Dapper, though, gets caught in the rotation. Now he's stuck in the shock dart, and he will go down. Great play from BCJ, now putting Shazam in a really tough 1v3. Oh, oh does get the hit on here, but not the frag. Does find death, though. This is no still way. winnable. He's got some damage down. Does he actually swap to the AR at his feet? Looks like no for now. Wants to try to find an angle to get the operator. He's seen BCJ's cape. Under Fury is going to come out. Shazam's been able to avoid this completely. BCJ just throwing this out blindly. Shazam up top now. One opportunity maybe to find an angle onto BCJ. Turn this into a 1v1, but BCJ holds inside the container. Oh, nearly gets pure. But the See why they're dominant. I think it's fair to just give the full statement that they're the best team in the world. Yeah. I mean, they go pretty flawless safe. at the first international land. I think that's it's the only. A... It's the only, uh, <laughs> well, the only data to go off of. Yes, do that. Aaron up close and personal, working with Pure and Exet defensively, come away with the first three One kills. You're going to be tested though, as paint shells will be right behind him. I think that's actually from second, and it is. Sentinel's kind of sniffing out the vulnerability in this defense, but Dev pushing Great. through A catches Silence on such a perfect timing. That's now going to constantly be something that. Sentinels have to worry about in the Swarm 5 is being flanked and how quick it may come. They're prompted to have to hit B hard and fast now. They still yet to find an entry. And there is still a clock for the Tigers to keep this defensive rotation safe, but it doesn't actually go up. Aaron and Death with the first two to fall. Pure still finding value out of the Marshall. Keeps most of this B site cleared up. Spike down B. Spike is down in the more traditional default spot. BCJ finds an elimination simultaneously. Ten still dancing with the devil on the backside of Snowman. Look at this we'll spike, collect this spike as well. for trying to get a play. Yeah, this is all about the timing, and the Aldron's going to scout out ten, so this has to come through quickly. Uh, 
One kill there from Sentinels to work their way over towards B, and they get scouted off by the recon dart. Massive BCJ converts into a one elimination. Also has the Aldrone to scout out where Shazam is, but does he expect Tens to his left? Tens could still actually open up this play from behind. Yeah, the numbers are not going to be great for Sentinels, but they've got some pretty good positions. But all oh, the Showstopper coming through. X set deny the plant. And now it's just down to Tens from going down. And they're having to be very careful even as they try to rotate through middle to set up this retake as they don't know who might be lagging behind from Sentinels to catch them. Indeed, Dapper is playing the back side of A to try to watch for that very flank. Not a lot of tools here from either side. ECJ just yeeting himself forward. Nearly gets sick off guard, but the self-res, or probably the self-sustain will come through. Sick will turn that into a second elimination. Second, trying to work from the high ground. On the back side is Daph. Looking for a timing to pinch this one up, but Shazam responds sick as well for three kills and a mass. Yeah, again, they did such a great job just doing a bit of a double feint there, creating the rotation again, finding a vulnerable site. Pure misses the shot, and now it's a five on four post plant for Sentinels, and sick adds to it. This is so tough now for X set. This is tough. I, I don't the, the conversation is going to be based on if they can even find this first elimination. Not gonna happen. Tens denies second, and what a map Tens has had. BCJ finally puts a stop to him. Shazam up top, able to take care of Aaron as the Hunter's Fury will start pushing people away, and Shazam just floats right on in. The 20 HP. Dealing orb quickly. Sick, caught out, denied. X set now 5v4 early. That's the only Spectre they had on the floor, now turned into a rifle. Big news here for X set for their arsenal. Yeah, big catch there to get sick down with that all drone, get a five on four, and they still have their three-man A defense in place. It's been unchecked. Shazam good for an entry, but Pure and Death respond very rapidly. That is a huge kill from Pure. Dapper slid through the ropes. I don't think anyone saw him, but Tens is inching closer to 30 eliminations. You almost feel like him and Shazam together could clutch this 2v3. 45 oh, yeah. seconds on the clock. Spike is down. Pure knows Shazam stuck in a corner. Wants the angle. And they're going to force the resurrection into the mix just to make sure that, again, the economy stays safe. It's just down the tens. 1v4. Good luck. There's the first. 30 seconds left. No. Oh. The Boombot. I'll drone to counter. Death still holds this position. Shazam up top. Tag down low. Do they know that six in the back corner? No, they don't. Six finds two. Now it's just down to can second get here to try to stall this plant for as long as possible. Tries to break through the wall. Cannot find the kill. Sentinel successfully gets the post plant. Yeah, it's finally Sentinel deciding just a five-man commit through the Viper utility at Long B and just go out swinging. Oh. And they come out on top for a plant. And now they're whittling away this retake. Shazam from downtown with the operator strikes into two, leaving BCJ all by his lonesome in a 1v4 with no real hope at stopping Sentinels from finding map point. Moving around the back, maybe trying to get this operator. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive with it. Shazam is very aware that this could be the play. Watching this tight corner. Does see him? Sure does. Just Shazam, who had the angle, just out-dueling everyone. And then this transfer from sick Zoms. Definitely a <laughs> flick of the day candidate, you'd have to imagine. Uh, I'm sure he's made both of his parents proud, who are very much supporters of him and this team. They watch Lee kind of putting that cloud there at middle of the and still some conditioning, I guess you could say. But it's been read so well from BCJ, Sick trying to use the wall to make a play here. And Shazam, in the meantime, they would have come through, but he misses no. every single dagger. Spice and BCJ down. and Second combine for two, and oh my goodness, this is getting spicy. Pure, gonna be tested. Does he doesn't see the corner? Shazam tries to just sneak across. Spike has been collected. The left. defense is all over the place. And of course, Pure is going to know that there's threats right on either side of these doorways. Oh, smart backing up as well towards spawn, just staying alive. Death has been caught, though, and Shazam will use it to get the dagger out. Now they're a man ahead. Spike going to get planted at A. A tough retake now for Pure and Aaron, but Aaron at least able to get in a position here at middle. It looks like despite all the efforts of BCJ at middle, the OT might be averted. Shazam down low. Last Aaron trying to clear. Tens finds his third elimination. Just down to Aaron. Knives will miss. Dapper cleans. I mean, going 6 6 defensively against the Sentinels team from the defensive half is not likely going to be enough. Double peak comes through up top through B Tower. Here, the first one to fall. 
little sneaky play from Death did not be able to take one with him, but still the numbers prevail for Sentinels up top, though. They were able to respond again. We go back and forth, but Sentinels keep finding the edges. And it's yeah. just down to second 1v3. Really great b having pressure there on this split. Just being able to fight their way through it. Coming out well on top. Leaving second and pretty much an impossible 1v3. Dapper is low on health on those paint shells. Will also chip away and kind of delay the spike plant for a little bit here by Sick. Doesn't take too much damage though when it's all said and done. And now he'll be able to get it down safely. No problem. Second. Getting to the low ground safely. But <laughs> really not a lot of room to work with. Barely. <laughs> Falls back into the friendly hands of BCJ to get self-sustained. Gravity will make sure that more of that health can be regenerated. But Six still trying to move aggressively. He gets punished for BCJ with the second elimination. And the spike, yeah, it's been collected, but this is a tough 3v5 look, even from the B tower. Yeah, it is. They're trying to get through here. Tens has make it to the low ground, trying to satchel across the way. BCJ, though, continues to hold firm on this pillar side, continues to oh. just keep dishing out frags despite being pressured from multiple angles. He settles in and finds himself a third, leading Zons all by his lonesome, and not long for this world. Second will clean it up, so the bonus. Hey, Rams, here comes the play forward. Death behind it. Not going to get Zoms. BCJ does the trade, though. Now on to Aaron. On the site, finds one, but not a second. So Sentinels have made their way on towards the site, but not with numbers. Nebula will keep the top heaven side play safe, and if BCJ falls there, you start talking about Sentinels with a very good look at the 2v2, but the number is still good for XA. Indeed they are. They do have that main advantage. BCJ, though, low on HP, and Dapper has a good position. The thing is that they double swing screens, he's in trouble. Ah, uh, even beyond that, he gets caught trying to check the spy camp. Now it's just up to tens, finds the first. Now 1v2, but second quick. This has put Tens in a weird spot where he doesn't really know what to shoot at. Throws his back corner. Not going to confirm a kill. ECJ able to find himself at least point of contact, but it's second in the back corner. Who takes down two. Dapper's still lurking behind the play. Finds a first and a second on the Dap. Neural Theft will come into play. You're trying to save the round, and he misses the right click of the knives. <laughs> oh, early information here from Dap. Use the gravity wall just to make sure there's no follow-up. BCJ getting aggressive. This is the first time we've seen X set try to play with a bit of speed and tempo on the defense, and it's panned out nicely. Death out of consider as far as you know the cards that X set still have to play with. BCJ, great timing here. Beautiful transfer. Not gonna get the third. Zoms. Maybe looking left. to sneak away a plant, but decides instead the operator too valuable. Zekin on the corner could make himself available for an elimination, but wall and try to keep some early aggression here from sentinels attack yeah they're able to kind of at least cancel out that optic now they're looking to storm into be heaven bcj though from the raptors doing his job well finds two able to heal keeps having the other two players but tens overwhelming the site might just still get this for sentinels yeah i, I don't love that necessarily for bcj you get the first two you should have seen that there are more there. He gets a little feisty with the elimination. Is now, you know, caught between two mines here. And Mike has some trouble, but able to get the one. And Death comes in for oh. a big one. And they're shutting this down. You're trying to keep the play up. Death there for the assistance, like you mentioned. But now, even beyond that, help. B site. And that's the really only thing stopping them from getting oh, in. But BCJ, grab. such a great timing on that peak. What a good grab well from Death. Now second up top. Wants to try to red dot chase, maybe just touch, but caught down to just getting over to the classic. Ken's able to find the elimination. Now it's just down to pure. Can you hit the shots? This is the first. Ken's in the corner. This is that one as well. Caught now. Tens finds the elimination, and it's a 2v2. Def up top trying to deny the plant. We'll find one. Pulls Shazam off the plant for a moment. And then into astral form to try to see if you could suck in the gravity well for another. Long play around the back as Aaron is going to try to pitch this one up. Shazam, though, 1v2. He's going to hold this close, and he's going to be forced to respond very quickly. Has an angle on Aaron, but no, doesn't. Here from Sentinels, Ten's able to blast back his way forward to create a little bit of space. Pure trying to disrupt here with the daggers here. up against the wall, but now he's being pinched and taken down by Ten's. Ten's will not what? be denied. Double entry, and it looks like this might be all she wrote. Aaron just got turned on. BCJ now 1v4, not going to get it off in 5-7 for set and result in too much. Spy cam though does reveal death and he gets caught trying to pull the dart off. Uh, where was the help there? Sick finds the first blood. Xset still trying to push forward, but the trap wire becomes a bit of a problem. Dapper finds two kills mm -hmm. off of it. 
And now x -Set is stuck inside B-Main looking at a 2v4. Opportunity maybe for some eliminations. He still has Zom all the way over by A. Aaron finds one. Still tries to come through, but that wasn't well communicated. BCJ still cleans things up, gets it to a 1v1. He's going to have a plan here. Oh, oh sees him. All right, point of contact down low, Zoms. Get he also yeah. has tents now rotated in the back halls. Zoms' star replacement will also kind of lean towards they know that this is the play coming through, but Shazam gets caught. Poor timing here. Now it's just down to Zoms. Finds one. Keeps the play alive through elbow. Looking for a second. Aaron tagged up low. Dapper there for the trade, but it's a pinstripe kill feed, which again, safe as they make their play forward in through tower. Shazam trying to take advantage, but no shut down second. Initial headshot. Really well placed. Death trying to simultaneously hit this through main. Even though Pure Falls Resurrection comes through, but Dapper keeps this safe. Able to see more players onto the low ground, but the big problem are the players up top in Raptors. Sick trying to rotate back around. See if maybe he can open up some space to get a resurrection of his own and will, but the problem is they continue to lose members just as soon as they gain them and Pure for two! Give him the third! X! He's gonna clear the trap wire out, now make his way forward. Just trying to hope he can find a peek. Not gonna see too much though. The blades, I believe, were also popped. I believe that's from Shazam. Right. It's an opportunity for him to maybe get forward, but the big problem is the fate. they will, but as soon as it falls, Zekin finds one. Pure finds the second. That's the blade shut down. Death a third. Just down to Zom's and Dapper. Not Cybercage is going to fade away. And it's going to showcase a lot of... Oh, Zekin wanted to open it up with the Showstopper, but it's just Sam in the back for two. Looking for more. You did see the dash across. That was pure, but Sick is able to find elimination, but Shazam will not be denied. DCJ caught at low HP, not going to get anything, and not all. A little bit of air inserted into the lungs of Sentinels to breathe with. Sam gets aggressive. Ten's there to follow. A double peek in the mix as Sick was there as well. First two kills clean from Sentinels. Early 5v3 for the defense. Yeah, Shazam's really getting going with an operator now. But, oh, a great time and pouring in. Dapper down low. Has to decide which angle he wants to peek at. There's a little bit of help. Sick is playing through main. They want to overwhelm this. Spam it through the nebula. Sick finds the first. Needs to do more than that, though. No, not going to happen. BCJ and Aaron battle back to now a 2v2. Sam up top. Has been seen by BCJ, and that's enough information to say. I'm not trying to bother to peek him from that angle. Oh, Catches him catch. instead on the fall down. And now it's just down to Zoms. 1v2 situation. Has a cosmic divide if he wants it, but that is about it. Trying to play this from dirt. DCJ to his left. 17 series played. They have been so dominant throughout the second stage and throughout their trip in Iceland. And it might finally come to a halt. Exit had already snapped their Haven winning streak earlier on on map one. To have that, but actually Showstopper mid map. Tens will find one. Maybe an opportunity for a second. BCJ denies. 4v4 we go. And the rest. wants to play through. Pure, like you mentioned, brought back to life. This is massive. They get a five on four, and they put a lot of pressure on Sentinels and burn a lot of their utility. That's a showstopper already gone. Shazam gets caught by Aaron at ramps, and it's starting to really come together for Exit. A five on three. Zom's in a lot of trouble on the site. He's getting a rotation through heaven, yes, but the numbers may still get overwhelmed in the end. Oh, but Sick up top could be in a very key position. Nova Pulse was spent. Left. Sick, though, falls. Dapper trying to follow up. Finds one. Not going to get the second. Just down to Zoms. Able to find the first. Needs to find three more behind this, though. Caught into a slow orb. 